Okay, so today we're going to learn about systems of equations and how to solve them by graphing. So this is different than solving one equation by graphing. When you solve one equation by graphing, you're looking for the zeros. So I'm going to put this over here. You are looking for zeros or x-intercepts. E.g., for example, right, if I have y equals 4x minus 7, right? So if I put this in my graphing calculator, Sorry, I'm using my phone light to make the graphing calculator better. Uh, so I have 4x minus 7. Okay, so first let's let's find it. Let's solve it first. Okay, so solve it. So we do. Um, so we're gonna set it equal to zero, right? So we have zero equals 4x minus 7. Um, we add 7 to both sides. Okay, so. We set it equal to zero, right? This is our y equals mx plus b. We add seven to both sides. Then we divide by four, so we get seven over four equals x, right? So if I was looking for the solution to this equation, it would be seven over four. And let's, let's graph it, right? So I have four x minus seven, I'm graphing it. Okay, that's not, let me change the, the window. We have negative 10, 10, negative 10, 10, 1. Uh, 4x minus 7. Why is the graph so hard to see? Let's do negative 2, 2. Oh, it's because I put um, negative 7, not minus 7. There we go. Okay, much better. Okay, so to find the solution, we need to look for our zeros or our x-intercepts. So if we look at our zero, we can see that it's at 1.75, which is the same thing as 7 divided by 4, right? And then similarly, if you do a quadratic, you'd be looking for the zeros, right? So when you're solving for one equation by graphing, you are looking for the zeros or x-intercepts. When you're looking for a system, you're looking for the points of intersection. So we'll, we'll see that more on this side, but I'll just write it here. When you're solving a system, you look for points of intersection. Okay, so let's do some notes and then we'll get to some examples. So I didn't give you enough room, so write tiny. A system of linear equations, or simply a linear system, consists of two or more linear equations of the same variables. Here is an example. So we have x plus 2y equals 7, and we have 3x minus 2y equals 5. So here's two equations, and these are like two things that live together, and the solution of a system of linear, I'm going to just abbreviate, equations, EQNS. The solution of a system of linear equations is the x and y value that satisfy each equation. One way to find the solution is by graphing both equations and finding where they intersect. Okay, so if we think about it, if I said that x equals 2, right, for here, or actually, let me make it an easier number. If I said x equals 3, so 3 plus 2y equals 7, right, so 3 plus 2y equals 7, minus 3 from both sides, 2y equals 4, that means y equals 
4. Or y equals 2. Right? So if I set x equals 3, if I set x equals 3 for this equation, then y equals 2. Well, let's look at this one, right? So if I have x equals 3, oh, that actually works. So that's the solution for this one. Let's choose other numbers. Okay, so this is the actual solution. But let's say, let's say, let's say for this one I said x equals 1. x equals 1, which means that y equals 3. So if I said 1 is here, so 3 minus 2 times 3 is 6, so I get negative 3. So 1, 3 would be a solution for equation 1, but not for equation 2. So the whole point of solving for systems is you want to find the points that work for both of them. And so I accidentally found it uh, by chance. Um, 3 and 2 would work for both of them. <laughs> okay, so here are the steps. Write both equations in slope-intercept form and graph. So if you don't remember how to do this, it should be in 4.4 and 5.4. Find the coordinates of the point of intersection. Use calculator today. Check the coordinates by substituting into the original equations. Write your solution as a coordinate point. So this is our check step. Okay, all that, lots of notes. Let's do it for real. Okay, solve the following system, linear system by graphing. We have these two equations. They're already in slope-intercept form. So now we're going to put it in our calculator. Okay, so this time we're going to use y1 and y2. So we don't, we don't, we haven't really used y2 before. So this is the first time. So we have, remember, fractions need parentheses. 2 over 3, x plus 1, and 3. So we're going to graph it. Okay, so the window isn't that great, but you can still see the intersection. So to find the intersection, we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to uh, calc, intersect. We're going to go on the first curve and the second curve. And that's going to find the intersection for us. So it was 3, 3. Right? So let's graph it just to check, right? So we have, let's do this one in red. So we have our intercept of one, we have our rise of our run, rise two, run three, right? It's a positive line, so we have a positive slope. And then here we have y equals three. Remember y lines, when y equals something, it's gonna be a horizontal line. This still trips up a lot of people, right? So if we look here, this is our point of intersection, which is three, three, but our calculator did it too. So we know that our calculator was right. And then let's just check it. So we're gonna put three, three into both of them, right? So we're going to do our checking step. We do 3 equals 2 over 3 times 3 plus 1. So we have 3 equals 2 plus 1. So 3 equals 3. So we check the red one. Right? And now let's check the blue one. We have y equals 3. So we have 3 equals 3 because we're just using the y value of this coordinate. Obviously, 3 equals 3, so we checked it, and we wrote our solution as a coordinate point. So over here, I'm going to write the steps. So put each equation in y1 and, well, I just put and, and, y1 and y2 on calculator, calculator. So this is going to be step two, um, right? Details for step two. Okay. Okay. So one, put each equation into y1 and y2 on calculator. Two, graph with proper window. So a proper window means that you can see the point of intersection and C point of intersection three. You're gonna go to calc, which is second trace. 
and then you're going to go to 5 intersect and then you're going to pick a point close to the intersection on each line. And as you saw, the calculator is going to spit out the point of intersection. So the calculator can do it all for you, but sometimes it's nice to graph if you have a chance to graph, right? Because it, it backs up what you just did. And then you always want to check so that you know you got it right. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. So this is the steps that I showed you over there. Okay, so let's be honest. We love our calcs. Can I do this in a calculator? Yes. Okay, so we're going to do this in our calculator. Okay, so let's go through and do this together. So we put this in Y1 and Y2. So I'm going to add little notes here, right? So this is our step by step. Mm. Use parentheses for fractions. These are the keystrokes. So parentheses, negative 5 divided by 2, parentheses, we're going to use this, which gives us the x plus 3. And then the next one is parentheses, 1 divided by 3, parentheses, x plus parentheses, 5 divided by 3, parentheses. We pick a nice window. So this is the important thing. This is a good hint. Usually zoom 6 is a good starting point. So if you look on your calculator, there's a zoom right here. This is zoom. And um, zoom 6 is zoom standard. So if you do zoom 6, it'll give you a good starting point, And then you can adjust the window. Um, adjust window on window. And you could do like um, different x, y, max, min, right? We're going to use the intersect function, which we said, right, second trace, 5, and then we're going to find the intersection, and then it gives us our point. Okay, so this is the step-by-step, -step. but again, you want to be quick at it. You don't want to have to look at these steps to do it. You want to just have it memorized in your head, sort of like you know, a video game or your phone or a new app. Like at the beginning, you don't really know where everything is. And then eventually, you know where all the buttons are. So that's how you want to be with your calculator, especially when you're thinking about taking a test or a standardized test. You just want to be able to use your calculator really efficiently because it's, it's really just a tool to help you, right? All right. Last page. Okay. Let's do these next two examples. So I would recommend pausing and trying to find the solutions. Um, and then we can come back. Okay. So let's look at our calculator. Uh, okay. So the first one, okay. They're, they're, this one isn't in. So our first step, right, we need to set this equal to y. So we're going to do y equals 11 minus x. And then this is already as y equals. So we're going to put them in our calculator. 11 minus x, negative 2x plus 77 divided by 5. We have that parentheses over the fraction. We're going to graph it. Okay, so we can see the intersection. So we can go straight to intersect. I don't know. You can just sort of push enter and it'll find it for you. So we have 4.4, 6.6, right? And then we can sketch the graph. So we have our graph, and then we have our two lines. One is looking like that, and then the other one is like that, right? Okay, and then here, we also need to make this. So we have 5y equals negative 15 minus x. We need to divide everything by 5 to get the y. Negative 3 minus 1 over 5x. And then this is already in y-intercept. So we're going to graph it. Okay, so y equals, we get a little more light. 
Okay, so we have negative 3 minus 1 over 5x, and then we have 2x plus 15. There's one line, there's the other. So we can see the intersection. So we're going to do 5, enter, 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 and they found it for us. They have about negative 8.2 negative 1.4 approximately. You go around a little more if you want. Okay, so we have our graph, and then our sketch is sort of like this, and this, All right? And our intersection point for both of these is right here and right here. Okay, and then we can check it, right? So we want to plug x and y into our original equations. So for this um, this one, right, we could do 6.6 .6 plus 4.4 .4 equals 11. So 11 equals 11. So we can check it. And then y is 6.6. .6, so 6.6 .6 equals negative 2, 4.4 .4 plus 77 over 5. So this is 6.6 .6 equals negative 8.8 .8 plus 77 over 5. Let me use a calculator. Negative 8.8 .8 plus 77 over 5 equals 6.6. .6. Okay, so we checked it, right? We could do the same thing for the other one. I'm not going to. Okay, last one. Almost there. Is 4, 3 a solution to the following systems of equations, right? So this is making sure you know how to check. So we have our x and our y and our y. So let's plug them all in. So we have we have 3 equals 3 times 4. I'm using colors now to like make it very obvious like how we're checking it, right? So 3 equals 12 minus 11. Right? So we could see instantly that no, right? That's not true. So no, it's not a solution to the following system of equations. Um, and then here we have x equals 4. Okay, I just wrote the same thing. 4 equals 4, which works. And then we have y3 equals 4 plus 1. So that one doesn't work either, right? So 3 equals 5. Okay, so this one's also no. All right, it worked for the first one, but not for the second one. And let's just look in the calculator to prove it. Okay, so we have 3x minus 11, and then here we have x plus 1. So I, right now I just sort of skipped a step. I like moved the y over and then I moved the 1 over. And if we look at these lines, we see that there's an intersection, but it's not 4, 3, right? It's 6, 7. And then for the other one, we have x equals 4, which is going to be a vertical line, and then y equals x plus 1. So let's just look at that, right? y equals x plus 1. Oh, why isn't graphing? Oh, because it did 1, 1, 1. And then x equals 4, so it's going to be right there. So the intersection would be different, right? If I was to graph this, let me graph it here.
right? I had one, two, three, four. So this is x equals four. And then one, two, three, four, five. We have this. It's going up by one, 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 one. Right, so this intersects at like four, five, right? Not four, three. Okay, so neither of these are solutions, but you should be able to check. All right, good luck. Make sure you are practicing with your calculators and doing the practice problems.